Today is August 29th. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. We're out here in northern Illinois, Lake County to be exact, and we are going to set out a mock scrape. I know a lot of guys are like, mock scrape? Dude, it's only August. Well, you know, deer use scrapes to communicate all year long, uh, even though we may not know it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this mock scrape up in hopes that we're gonna get one of the mature bucks living in this area to start venturing into our little woodlot that we hunt. Unfortunately, the woodlot we hunt usually holds some pretty good deer early in the season, but once the leaves come down and the fields get taken in, these deer are pretty much gone. So what we're gonna do is try to capitalize on a buck here early season by starting a mock scrape and you know getting them used to hitting that scrape while we can still hunt this place and there's still deer here. So we've got a Predator Evolution Trail camera we're gonna set up over our mock scrape. We've got the Kishel's mock scrape kit. We're gonna set up and we'll see what happens. Mike and I spent the last 20 minutes walking around this stupid little piece of woods, you know, trying to figure out where we really wanted to put the scrape. And it's a unique situation that we've got here. This woods that we're hunting here is probably no more than 15 acres, 20 acres tops. I mean, it's a, it's a small piece of woods surrounded by agricultural land. Um, you can only hunt it in the morning is really the best time to get in here before these deer come back off these fields. You got to get in here close to the bedding area on a good win. So my, my plan for this particular spot is to hunt it early season. So the first couple weekends in October when I know these bucks are still hanging out in here and these acorns are dropping. So on a south wind or on a west wind, I can sneak in the corner of the wood, which is behind where the cameraman's at right now, and get into a tree stand that we're gonna put about 20 yards away. Over my shoulder here is the bedding area. We find beds and see more deer in this corner of the woods every year than at any other spot in this woods. So we're anticipating bedding here, our food is back out there. So as these deer are coming back to bed, what we're hoping to do is draw a buck out to check this mock scrape that we're gonna set up. So we've got Johnny's scrape maker. He's packer colored, but that's all right. We'll let that slide for now. We're gonna make a scrape here. We're gonna use this little, actually it's a dead branch as our licking branch. Um, we're gonna see how things go. So obviously we're wearing our rubber boots uh, we've got our scrape making tool, so we're gonna scrape this area out so that it looks like a deer scraped it up. You want to do it in like a V type shape. That's really all you really need to do. I mean, you don't need to make it any bigger than that. Let's take our scent out. We've got three different scents in here. Our pre-orbital scent. This is the scent from the deer's gland on its head. Uh, so this is what you're gonna use on the overhanging branch. We've got some tarsal gland. We're gonna use this really sparingly right now because uh, you know, it, it still is summertime going into the fall. These deer aren't really running yet. Their testosterone levels are starting to increase. Their velvet's starting to come off. So we're gonna use a little bit of this and then the inner digital gland, which is the gland in between the deer's hooves. So we're gonna use mostly some inner digital, tarsal in here, preorbital above. That's it, our mock scrape is made. Now we're just gonna set up our camera. Hopefully one of the bucks that we know is in this area. We've been hunting for a couple years. We're gonna start using the scrape on a regular basis. And on that first opening weekend in October, I'm hoping the buck's gonna hit this, this scrape. We'll be in a stand right there, and hopefully we can put one on the ground in early October.